Tanishta, um, NEFID modelling is based on the assumption that vaccination will reduce but not prevent transmission of COVID-19 and that, that is borne out by data from Public Health England. Um, so the bottom line is that even if, and it's a big if, but even if the vaccination targets are met, COVID-19 and variants and perhaps new variants of it will still be in circulation and still be being transmitted next winter. Now, last February and March, an expert group on the role of uh, ventilation in the transmission of COVID-19 reported to the Department of Health and uh, nothing very much has happened since then. It's a year now since I met a, a small company in Shannon called uh, CW Solutions that were uh, looking at um, air sterilization measures. And they're one of many companies doing this, yet the government doesn't seem to be advancing this. Tanisha, whatever about an outdoors summer, we're not going to have an outdoors winter. Thank you. I, I don't know whether you've you, ever Deputy. been in Milton Albi or Tulla when the rain is coming inside. To to so what's the government going to do to plan to to for this? For the, uh, on the two occasions on which I was in Mil Milltown Malbay, the sun was splitting the stones. <laughs> it's a really beautiful place to be, particularly along the beach when the, uh, when the sun is shining. But um, I, I know what Ireland is like in the winter, uh, as you do too. Um, I think we're all increasingly uh, aware and cognizant of the importance of good ventilation uh, in indoor settings. Um, it's actually something that's specifically uh, provided for in the Work Safely Protocol. Uh, and there is a requirement under the Health and Safety Act um, that employers ensure that workplaces are adequately ventilated. Um, um, One, and two, not three, four, doing five. That. Um, but um, I, I, I think the deputy puts a finger on it that it is something we're going to have to do some more work on uh, between now and, um, and the winter period.